praise the Lord. God is good. And all the time, that is his nature. To the family of Joyce, friends, relatives, the family of Kenya High, the people of Omet, I wish to convey my sincere condolences to all of you. I'm waiting for the Deputy President to take his seat. I wish to convey my sincere condolences to all of you. We have lost a great leader. The girls of Kenya High have talked, the principal, former and pre current principal have talked, and all what they've said is quite true. I first met Joyce at Kenya High School way back in 1976 when I think Joyce was in Form 3. And I was one of Joyce's teachers. Joyce, as a student, was a very able person. She was very bright, very intelligent, like most Kenya, girls, Kenya High School girls are. She also learned among some very great women, some of them you've seen here before. She learned in the school at the same time with people like Njokin Dumu, Wavinya Ndeti, Gloria Minde, Aumo Obama, Nyagoe Nyongo, and many others that I cannot call all their names here. When she finished Kenya High, there's a tendency of Kenya High that if you pass well, like Joyce did, your name will be put on the notice board in the dining hall. For those who want clarification, you can still go to Kenya High School notice board, the year 1979, and you'll find Joyce's name there. Joyce was a blue rug. In other words, she was a prefect. And her ability to lead could be seen as early as that. When Joyce left high school, my journey with Joyce did not end there. Because some years later, in the early 90s, in the early 90s, one time I used to be very good at driving. I used to be a responsible person. One time I was driving home from Kisumu to my home in Migori. And by the time I reached Sotik, just around there, I had a puncture. And those days, there were these, <laughs> I was driving a 504, Salunka, and you know, they, were, they used to put tires under the, under the car. I could not get the tire, the tire out, the spare tire out. So as I was standing still looking, a man pulled up in a pickup, and he ordered his driver, to change the tire for me. After that, he ordered his driver to go and fix that tire and told me to go to a club there, I think it's farmer's club in Sotik, to take tea while I'm waiting for my car to be fixed. At that juncture, I thought, why don't I ask this gentleman who he is? And I asked him, thank you, sir, but what's your name? He told me I'm Fred Laboso. And I said, could you be the brother to Joyce Laboso? He said, no, I'm the father. <laughs> the man looked so young to be Joyce Laboso's father, but well, that was Joyce Laboso. I said, yes, I know Joyce. Joyce was my student. He said, OK. Then they fixed my car. It was too late. He advised me not to go home to drive to Migori at that time. It was getting about 5 o'clock. He told me to drive home to his home and go to Migori the following day, and I did that. And once that is where I first met Lorna 
Laboso. And of course, the sisters, Judy, and I think there was another one, Mary, or oh, I can't remember exactly. So the friendship between me and the Laboso started there. Uh, to cut the long story short, much later, when Lorna became member of parliament for Satik, and then you know what happened, the accident occurred and Lorna, we lost Lorna. The day after burying Lorna, I was in the Laboso's home at six o'clock in the morning. And my aim of going back to that home was to convince Joyce to take over the seat of Lorna Laboso. It was not easy convincing her but I told her she'd had what it takes to be a leader. She had been a leader right from school days. She was focused, determined, a very loving person, a woman of the people. Well, it didn't take me long. After three hours, Joyce was convinced that she could be an MP and took over that seat from Lorna. Well, leadership in Joyce did not end there. I was not surprised when Joyce became the governor of Sotik. And Sotik, you did well. Bomet, sorry. The governor of Bomet. And people of Bomet, you did well. You chose the right person. Joyce is one of the pioneer governors, women pioneer governors in this country. You've lost a great leader. Kenya have lost a great leader. The women of Kenya, I would say that we've lost a great leader in Joyce. But we know when death comes, there's nothing we can do. We know Joyce died of cancer, like many others have died of cancer. I leave it to those who are in leadership today to do something about this cancer. It chooses the best amongst us. And we can't keep on mourning because we know we can do something to curb cancer or to reduce its cause in the people of Kenya. With those few remarks, I just pray to God to put your soul in good place, in eternal peace. May you rest in eternal peace and to God be the glory. Amen.